Police pursuit turns deadly in St. Louis County. We knew the situation was, was pretty, pretty dire. What we now know about the man and woman who were found dead in the vehicle. Good evening, everyone. I'm Robert Townsend. Tonight we begin with new information about that police pursuit that ended with two people dead last night in South St. Louis County. Five your side's Andy Crawl returned to the scene today and spoke with people who saw the aftermath of the crash, as well as a close friend of the woman found in that vehicle, Annie. Roberts, the thing to know here is that the Missouri State Highway Patrol identified them as Delisha Evans and Ryan Phillips. In an interview you'll only see with five on your side, a friend of Evans tells me the former couple had a complicated relationship. Police cars everywhere at this Afton intersection around 540 Friday night, an SUV rollover crash on South Rock Hill Road near Party Road, captured in real time through the bushes of Kyle Motors' home. We saw cops with shields coming out. We knew the situation was, was pretty pretty dire. Troopers began a pursuit eastbound on Interstate 44 after the driver refused to pull over. The SUV exited onto South Elm Avenue and continued to South Rock Hill Road, where neighbors said they saw a gun lying on the ground next to the car after the suspect fired at police. Motor heard 10 to 15 shots and saw a car flipped over. I heard the gunshots and then we got down and and knew that it was not a usual scene for this area. It's a story that starts all the way back in November of last year near Dallas, Texas. Delisha Evans, known as Dee Dee, started dating Ryan Phillips, both from St. Louis. Friend Salome Momo said she'd had issues with him in the past. On multiple occasions, he told her that he would kill her. The couple fought often, Momo said, and broke up in August. Evans was a loving mother to her 13 and 4-year-old daughters. According to Momo, Evans was last seen Wednesday night. Her teenager asked where her mom was. Phillips, who was still around, said Evans was asleep upstairs. The next two days, he drove the 13-year-old to school in a rental car. Then on Friday, Evans' house scorched, Momo saying arson was involved. Police in Princeton, Texas, activated a critical missing person alert Friday morning, saying Phillips was the primary suspect in Evans' disappearance. License plate readers helped locate Phillips' SUV in St. Louis County, which initiated the pursuit. The understanding of is that she was already uh, not alive when she was in the car. If she could say anything to Phillips. He took someone's daughter someone's friend, someone's mother, selfishly, will never get a why, will never get to a place of understanding. If you or someone you know are experiencing a domestic violence situation, Momo asks that you speak up and reach out for help before it comes to this worst case scenario. You can find more resources to organizations that help victims on our website at ksk.com.